At this point, we all know that AI can write code, fix bugs, and even build apps on its own. So do we still need to learn to code? Some of the biggest tech CEOs are saying, just learn to prompt, learn prompt engineering, and AI will do the rest. But I don't think it is that simple. In fact, I think learning to code is more important than ever, and I've made a bunch of videos on this topic, and this video is just another one in that list. Talking about my videos, I recently made a video on wipe coding, this whole idea where you just chat and prompt AI and let it do its work. And the problem with that is, it produces garbage. It's like letting somebody else cook dinner for you just by shouting out ingredients from the other room, but you don't give them the recipe and surely you're gonna get some food, but it may not be tasty, it might not fill you up, and most times you'll just be hungry. That is exactly how you feel when you wipe code using AI, and I'm gonna extrapolate on that in a bit. And I am not the only one saying this. Even the CEO of GitHub came out recently and said that we should teach coding in schools just like we teach biology, physics, geography, all that stuff. And not because everybody needs to be a software engineer, but because coding is now fundamental to how we understand our worlds. Let's learn more about this. If you're new here, I'm Anudeep and I work as a software engineer by the day. And on this channel, we discuss topics on tech, AI, entrepreneurship, and self-development. So if any of those things sound interesting, please consider subscribing. It always means a lot. Enough of the plug. Let's get started. Think about it. When you learn physics, you don't just plan to be a rocket scientist, but most times it helps you understand this world and make sense of everything that's around you. It makes you understand why planes fly or why don't we explode in elevators and stuff. Similarly, learning to code, even at a very basic level, help you understand how the apps you use every day actually work. It gives you a mental model of the digital world and you start seeing behind the curtains. And in a world that is becoming more and more digital by the day, and the pace of all of this is being accelerated by AI, learning how software works under the hood can be a game changer for your life. And I'm saying all this because AI is not magic, it's math, it's logic, it's software, and to use it well, you need to speak its language. So if you are somebody who's already in the IT industry or somebody who is in tech industry or somebody who deals with code or forget code, if you are a knowledge worker in the modern world, working in fields of science, technology, medicine, law, whatever, and you are fearful that AI is gonna take your job because you know it already knows so much, in case of software engineers, it can already spit out the code that software engineers produce, then I wanna tell you that you are wrong and AI is definitely not gonna take your job. AI is not here to replace us. Us, it is here to supercharge us. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, recently was asked by Varun Maya, who's an Indian tech entrepreneur and CEO, whether AI will replace coders. And Sam's answer in this case was gold. He said, a better question is, can AI make coders faster, more efficient and smarter? It definitely can. Today, you can literally spin up a web page just by a single prompt. But that just means that the bar has moved. Now it is about building better designed apps with better UX, better UI, faster performance, and smarter systems. But you still need to show up and do the work. And in this case, a human needs to show up and do the work. Obviously, with the help of AI. I've personally been using AI for building some side projects, side hustles, for debugging, ideating, and even refactoring code. But here is the thing. From my experience, I've realized that you still need to know enough to judge if AI is doing the right thing or the wrong thing, to know if it's hallucinating, when it's breaking something, or when it's being inefficient. And trust me, it does all those things a lot of the times that I've tried to use AI to build stuff. My point being, if you can't understand the output, then you're just blindly trusting a black box, and that, my friend, is a risky move. And so, to understand the output, you need to learn to code. AI can obviously fill the knowledge gaps, but only if you know what you don't know. Only then you can ask AI to, you know, explain that to you or, you know, learn that from AI or from the numerous amount of resources available online. So my point is, if you don't know coding or your skills that you're using in your day job, how will you even ask the right questions? Let's not forget, AI is not building large-scale production-ready applications on its own. Well, not yet. System architecture, design trade-offs, scalability decisions, all these things are still very human skills. AI can suggest, but you have to decide. And if you have done enough wipe coding, you might know that AI might not be able to make these decisions in the first place. Sure, these AI systems are trained on a bunch of data and it has a lot of information, but that information is converted to knowledge only when shown a particular direction. For example, 
from all the tech stacks available, you need to tell it what to use, what steps to take, how to design a function, which problem solving approach to use, and then it'll spit out that code for you. And to know all these steps, you need proper software engineers with domain knowledge to be handling those tasks. I would say just go try building something with AI. I really encourage you to wipe code an entire project just as these big tech CEOs say, let the AI choose the framework, the database, the data flow, your functions, everything. See how far you get. You'll quickly realize how much of this software development process still relies on human judgment, human knowledge, and domain expertise. That just means knowledge of coding and software engineering. At least in my experience, I did exactly what these big tech CEOs say, that is to just use AI to build. And unfortunately, I was not able to build anything using just wipe coding. So coding has always been about layers of abstraction. We started with machine code, where every instruction was a binary command. Then came assembly language, which gave us human readable instructions, but still mapped closely on the hardware side of stuff. And then higher level languages like C and C++ came out, which had somewhat clunky syntax, but it was still better than the hardware dealing that we were doing previously. So that was good. And then came languages like Python and JavaScript and Java and stuff, which made software development even faster, safer, and more scalable. And now we are entering a brand new phase, natural language prompts in English. It is just another layer, but you still need to problem solve. You still need to know the principles of software engineering. You still need to know what you're doing. You are just automating a repetitive task, which would take, you know, some days for you to do. AI can just do it in some minutes for you. You see, every new layer gives us more power and speed, but it also demands a deeper understanding of what lies under that application layer, if we want to use it responsibly and effectively. You see, people always say that Python is a very fast programming language and it's, you know, it has no syntax, it's like very good and stuff, but people don't know that Python is written in C++, right? So basically, I think having an understanding of what goes under the hood helps you become a better software engineer and helps you give the edge and helps you beat AI because AI does not have a brain of its own. It's just a large bank of information. So if you don't understand the layers below, you lose control. Don't be that person. So according to me, from all the research that I've been doing and all the rabbit holes that, that I've been going, the people who will be successful in years to come in this age of AI will be number one, people who learn to code, not just program, but build mental models on how these digital infrastructure systems work. Number two, understand what is happening under the hood so that they can spot inefficiencies, debug intelligently and make informed decisions. Number three, treat AI as a creative teammate, your coding buddy, your coworker, whatever you want to call it, and stop treating it like a shortcut. Use AI to, to handle repetitive tasks to fill your knowledge gaps while you can focus on high level thinking, creativity and strategy. And number four and most importantly, the people who are going to succeed are the ones who are going to be lifelong learners, who are going to keep learning and adopting because tech or any sort of knowledge work is an ever evolving field and what is cutting edge today might be obsolete tomorrow. You know, the other day I was talking to somebody who has over 30 years of experience in the industry and they said to me that the only thing permanent is change. How code was written in the 1990s using assembly was very different from how code was written using React in the 2015s, 2016s when it was at the peak. And all of that is very different from how it's written now using English language. So the only thing that will make you unbeatable is your ability to learn and learn fast. Don't fear AI. Shape it, use it and grow with it. As I mentioned, think of AI as a quiet, non-judgmental friend who you can just throw anything at. It doesn't care if you're a beginner. It doesn't call you stupid if you ask like a dumb question. But to truly take advantage of it, you've got to learn the fundamentals and then just go bonkers with AI. That is the way ahead. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. If you've built something with AI, please drop a link down in the comments below. I love seeing your projects. And don't let the fear of change stop you from learning something powerful, which in this case is AI. As I mentioned, Coding is definitely not dead. Most of knowledge work is not dead. AI is not gonna take over our jobs. Coming back to coding, in fact, I believe this is the best time to learn to code. And I actually made a video on that, so please go check that out. And in the meantime, thanks guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.